Okay guys, we're gonna test a relay today. Um, this was an odd situation for us here because this is a much newer relay, it's a high quality uh, Tyco relay. And um, couldn't figure out why my high beams weren't coming on. I was fairly certain I didn't wire them wrong. But um, nonetheless, I always like to start at the relay with stuff like this because you can pull out the relay and jump the headlight, see if your wiring's good, which that checked out. And honestly, to jump the uh, the headlight, if you're following along, just jump between pin 30 there, which is where the uh, power comes in, and pin 87. This is a dual terminal 87 relay, so both the middle pins here that are kind of uh, horizontal right now are 87 pins. So jump those two in the block, and if you get your headlights coming on or whatever you're trying to power, if that works, then you know you've probably got a relay issue. Now I'm going to show you how I generally test these, and I tested this one when I first pulled it out of the uh, out of the uh, block. Now, as you can clearly see, I've got a nice terminal on there, crimped on, nice heavy gauge wire because I like to be able to test whatever I want. Again, with the uh, terminal hooked up here, I'm going to take the other end of the wire and I'm going to touch it to my positive battery terminal. And then just the opposite end of this wire, I just have to touch. Oh, see, now here it's doing it. This is great. There you go. You can hear it clicking. In this case, it's clicking reliably. But before, it wasn't. So I think we're going to have to grab a different relay. That click is the electromagnetic switch actuating. So there you have it. Good way to test a relay. This one was actually failing kind of intermittently, and that'll happen on occasion. But you'll figure it out pretty quickly if you're using your voltmeter on the uh, relay block. All right, I've made sure that the connection uh, for this relay, that they're all good in the terminal block. And if you hear that, if you move it just right, and I, I realize it's not pushed all the way down there, but when I've, when I've got it up like this, it allows me to recreate this a little bit more easily. Um, and all my connections are tight in the block. When I wiggle the wires, it doesn't do anything. It's only when you move this relay. So this is this is just a faulty relay right here. That's the best case scenario that I get. And if I were to set this uh, down in front of the car, you'll be able to see if the uh, lights will flicker too. I guess that'll kind of help you to understand what's going on here. The relay actuates and uh, So there it is, faulty relay guys, it'll happen from time to time. I'm going to pull this guy out and throw him away right away so that I don't uh, confuse him with something else. Although I'll be honest, I'm probably going to take another relay and pop this cover off so at least it matches the other one and then I'll know. These are my uh, high beam only inside driving lights and those are my fog lights. Low beams, high beams. So cool, alright, mystery solved, uh, that was, uh, didn't take a long time to track down but it uh, Thank goodness I've got a little experience with this, otherwise it would have been a nightmare. Alright, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, give me a like, subscribe, etc. And then furthermore, if you guys want to see some more stuff with relays, just let me know and we'll try and uh, get some stuff going. I know these are my most popular videos, so just drop me a comment down below and I will see what I can do for you.